Hello, Brian here. In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, um, the problem of uh, PayPal saying, sorry, we couldn't confirm it's you. It's a problem most people get when they're logging into their PayPal accounts. Most of people don't know why, why it happens. So I'm going to discuss uh, main, uh, mainly the four causes of such an issue. And I'm going to discuss the two solutions to solve this issue, okay? Um, you realize when, you, when even if you manage to go and chat, uh, paper may not really help you. The paper guys may not really help you. I'm going to share one of the messages which my friend, uh, my friend, uh, when he went on chat, what they when he, when he, when he went on chat, what they told him, okay? But before that, I'm going to first show you something, okay? I'm going to log into my account. My account is fine, it's working fine. It's not having this. This is one of the screenshots which I got from one of my, uh, one of the uh, friend which he sent me some time ago. So um, I'm just sharing a uh, solution. But my, my account currently is not having a problem, but I'm going to mess it up so that it shows the message which are showing and I'm going to sort it out. Kind of crazy, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to make my account, my account show this problem because this problem is more of like an AI issue. Like it's a robot at PayPal, uh, which is kind of actually messing up your mind. So I'm going to mess up my account and I'm going to uh, wreck my account within like, within like seconds, okay? So it's going to give you a clear um, issue of how uh, this thing happens, okay? So let me log into my account, like PayPal. Uh, okay, let me click on login. So I'm going to log into this account. It, log it works fine. Uh, after that, I'm going to mess it up. So my account works fine, okay? So I'm going to mess it up. Uh, usually you realize if uh, if you're using, uh, if you're logging to your account and then you get a problem, usually your link looks like this, paypal.com slash that slash verification failed, okay? So I'm going to log it onto my account. So when I log into my account, paper is going to say this. So even if the account is working, as long as the URL is like this, your account gets an issue, okay? So um, this gives you an idea, okay, if you want to make this account work, what do you do? You just actually have to change the URL here to a link which works, okay? It's kind of cool. So <clears throat> before I'm going to do that trick, I'm going to try to discuss for you the four reasons why your PayPal like, usually gets an issue. One of my friends on chat, he went on chat and discussed with PayPal. This is what they told him. Um, um, hey, this uh, PayPal told him, like he was telling me like message received from PayPal. This usually happens when you are using many different computer systems. So this means if you're logging into different um, devices, maybe a phone and a computer, sometimes you can get this issue. On new devices, or if the computer detects that your account has been accessed from unsecure locations or network. At the end of this video, I'll discuss a few about this, okay? If you have time, you can find it, uh, you can get to know what this means. But for now, let's first find the solution. So in this reply, which these guys told him, they are showing him like, either it's because it's showing that different uh, computer is using different computers, or is having, um, uh, is is accessing the internet from one situation locations. This is more of an IP having an issue. And uh, they told him a, a, a solution. Uh, they just told him like, you may try to logging into the account at a later time. So this is usually like after 24 hours, it usually works after 24 hours. So the first solution is just wait for your account like for 24 hours, okay? Then the next solution I'm going to show you for it works fast. And people actually, I think even they don't know it, by the way. So <clears throat> in this reply from the chat, 
Paper said, please make sure to only access the account from the country where it's created or registered. So it means if you are logging into the account from a different country, sometimes you may get an issue. Maybe you created from UK and you're accessing it from Netherlands, you may have an issue. In addition, make sure to access that account using a safe internet. Please don't access that account using public Wi-Fi or VPN. So if you're using maybe a hotel internet or a VPN, try to switch to your phone internet. <clears throat> VPN, make sure you don't have VPN. So uh, in this chart, you realize the four reasons are usually uh, a wrong, uh, bad internet, okay? Changing devices, a new computer. Actually, they're usually free, free issues. Okay, so the solutions are just try to wait for your account. Just give you like 24 hours worth of logging in or do the quick fix, which I have here, which I'm going to show it to you, okay? So I've messed up my account. Uh, it's showing this, remember it was open in web. I messed it up by putting this link. So to make it work again, kind of come here, where it is failed, just say successful. Okay, must just make sure it's correct English, okay? <laughs> successful, I think that's the spelling of successful. So just change the link in your browser. Uh, what it was saying failed, just say verification successful. Then you enter. Then there, it works. As simple as that. So if you're not logged in, I assume in your situation, you don't be logged in. So uh, when you are logging in, just uh, it will tell you like, if you're not yet logged in, it usually tell you like, uh, after putting in like uh, successful, then you enter, it will tell you to log in, then you log in, then your account will be fine. That is how you fix the problem of you could not confirm it's you from PayPal. Thank you, and if you find this video useful, please kind give me a subscription on my channel. I will appreciate it. Just to remind you what we did, the quick fix is change in the URL of paypal.com, change verification failed to verification successful, then you enter. When you're not yet logged in, of course, uh, you go to the login, they will tell you to, the log to log in again, your email and password, then you'll be able to log in. Thank you and have a good night. Have a good, a nice time. Now, for those of you who I promised to find to about the um, having a bad <coughs> having a bad internet or having a bad IP reputation, this is what I meant. There's a website called uh, let me search it. IP uh, reputation. I think it's this. It's called IP. IP, you can search IP reputations like iprmovo.issms.semantic.com. You can kind of search about it, okay? So if you're having a wrong, um, for example, uh, if you, you just, you have to just get your IP and you paste it here, okay? So for example, uh, let me paste in uh, an IP, uh, let me just get my IP here, it's, uh, 77 okay so this is it let me submit it so here if it shows like i don't have a bad reputation it means my ip address is clean okay but if you put your ip address and it shows it has a problem then it means your ip has an issue for example let me try out this submit so they say the IP address, this was found to have a negative reputation. So usually when you always log in from IP address, which have a negative reputation, your paper account may usually tell you that, that issue. So, but since I've showed you the, the solution, you just have to do paper verification. We have verification failed, just put successful, that's it. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice time and bye-bye.